So I've come out to my local common uh, on a dark October evening because we've got a fun fair down here, but also I've got a vantage point where I'm up above it. So what I want to try and do is take a shot from above the fun fair so we can show what it looks like and also use some long exposures to try and uh, show the light trails uh, as the fun fair is working. It's quite unusual uh, to have not only to be able to photograph the fun fair but to be able to get a, a vantage point above it. So I'm hoping to take the best advantage of it and see what kind of shots we can get. So let's start off. I've got the camera here in live view and I've set it up to be ISO 1000. This is giving me one sixth of a second at f5.6. So we give it a shot, see what we're looking like. And that's looking quite good. Let's zoom in on that. Yeah, we get some nice details of the, the lights of the fairground. I'd like things to be moving a bit more so we can start to use that kind of thing, but let's carry on and do a few more shots like that. That's looking good. I'm gonna change the framing, actually. I want to I'm gonna change the framing so we've got the fairground in the bottom third of the image. Kind of like that. Bring my focusing box down so we focus on what we're looking for. And there we go, we'll try that. I'm liking that, we get a nice bit of negative space above it, and amazingly, we've got the moon sitting just above it as well. So, getting two for the power of one now. Okay, things are starting to move now, so let's do another shot. Let's zoom in and have a look at that one. I want to see how much of the fairground we're actually getting spinning here. Okay, so you can see there we're starting to get a bit of movement. What I'd like to do now is actually slow the shutter speed right down so that we can show more of the movement in the shot. So I'm actually going to lower my ISO. So I've lowered the ISO now down to ISO 200 and I'm going to bring the shutter speed down as well. So now we've got the shutter speed down at one second. Let's shoot that again. And let's have another look at that and see how we're looking. That's better, it's starting to show a bit more movement. So we'll do a few more shots like that now. Right, we're starting to get a few good results now. We'll wait. What I'm going to try and do now is try a few at different angles, maybe closing in on certain parts of the fairground and see what kind of shots we can get with that. Okay, so now we've got one of the rides moving. I've actually closed in on that, so let's do a shot with that. Now it's looking good. Let's zoom in on that and see what we're looking like. Yeah, it's starting to get the effect I'm looking for. I might actually see if we can increase the... Uh, shutter speed even more so I'm gonna up my aperture and then decrease my shutter speed down to two seconds okay yeah I think now we're starting to get the look I'm going for There you go, hopefully we can see that we're getting the kind of look I was after. So we're using exactly the same technique here as I would do if I was shooting car trails. We've got a nice long exposure, we've got a two second shutter speed. We're at F10 and I'm at ISO 200, so if we take that shot now. We're really getting some good detail, we're really really getting the lights burning through we're getting the light star shapes on there so I'm going to carry on doing that and we'll see what results we end up with <laughs> 